Robbie Williams is one of those famous artists from back in the day, so he wasn't Wano, and this one is on uh, the second, which, well, the feature of the second, which, as engineers, I'm sure we've all used all the time. Uh, but this is me, Hugh, over in Doctorshire, and over there in London Town, not to be spilled. Down there? No, 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 no not to be spilled. Oh, you're not down there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, today I'm, I'm operating from the downstairs closet, I'm operating a pad and the notice board and all the rest of it. But today's subject is um, Excel spreadsheets taking over the world and operating the entire world from a spreadsheet but does it have any relevance at all to the coding world bill can you help us there i, I think you i think you can run um the world uh, through excel um even without getting into pivot tables and things like that can't work in excel you can do an awful lot with excel a uh, company i used to work at uh, a notice board accountant only used excel he didn't use the pivot table at all in his lessons so, so you know, the, the big, the big shift in the body of, of Excel was just this sort of one cell, and and um, uh, you know, just the guys who wanted to, and uh, and he, he never got through at all. Um, but I, I do think of it as a way that uh, the design world, and at that time it was very dumb, but um, um, it, it, you know, I find that table spreadsheets, statistical files, um, you know, even computers have very, very much evolved since then. You know, the elevation of computers, I find it to be a particularly strong area. Yep. I find Excel to be just as just as you know, you know a, a better tool, um, uh, and and you know very very easy to set up. It, 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 it compared to AutoCAD, it, it's going to go you know a lot better than some of the Skybase stuff. Um, you know Excel. The, 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 the engineer has kind of taught me about um, 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 administration by his cross code. Um, he said essentially the designer has to go to the scratch to set up the thing. Um, and everything else follows on from that. So, so uh, you know, all once you've got your scratch lines set up, you've still got a couple of drawers to fill. Uh, and, and in a sense, with video, if you've got, um, you know, notebooks that need to keep, you know, the updated, you know, recorded stuff, then that's fine. But, but once you've got your scratch lines set up, then um, that just takes everything else out. Um, yeah. And it, it's kind of hard to be difficult to have tools like that. Um, uh, I, I draw my my scratch lines in Excel. I, I take my sheet and my my data sheet. So it's the same power in in design uh, for when I then need to, to keep the, the scratch lines in Excel. Um, you know, they can make sense of it as well. And ag again, a lot of people say, oh, you know, AutoCAD is so good, but but it does get nice flavours. Um, uh, you can stick it in your scope, and nowadays Excel will get into things like um, Form and you know, your A0 index. You can do big complicated things with Excel, um, and, and and get lost. You know, from my point of view, I wouldn't do that. But yeah. I was I was very tickled by the banana chart thing. Did you read that? Or was that or was that talk about something else? Well, yeah, somebody was about to say that they were uh, good ideas. Um, exactly as you said, I just got um, put down a little bit of I think it's uh, your memory. It was um, midnight transfers VTR area. Do you remember that? I do. And uh, they they did did a rebuild on that. So I started off by um, laying out the video jack fields and the audio jack fields, and I thought, hmm, I wonder. So I then, uh, having created the jack field, then started um, putting the cable numbers above it, because obviously that cable number goes to that particular jack. And I thought, well, hang on a second, that cable number goes to that jack, that uh, on the audio side, well, I know that that cable number also goes to that side of the chrome head, and therefore uh, that chrome will jump off to another cable, and I know it's here, and I know where it goes to, and it was a bit of a headache. I had sort of forest of data going up from the top to the bottom of each of these scratch fields. It was, but of course, then I went to see if I could uh, turn that into um, into the Ryan schedule, because it's the same information, uh, and labels, uh, and the um, uh, and the chrome jumpers. And it only took me about mm, four weeks of trial and error. No, it probably wasn't that much trial, but it was quite a long time, far longer than it was really much going to take. Uh, and I was using a function called transpose, which um, I don't, it took several years to produce, uh, but was able to take the horizontal information from the jack fields and transpose it into vertical information. Uh, so now I had uh, the names of the devices and the cable numbers and blah, 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 all the way along. So it, and, it, and it worked. It meant that um, when I would just want to change something uh, on the label, I could change it on the jack field, and it would, it would run right the way through. The whole, the whole procedure, um, but but 
we took it was a manual it was probably the best exercise we took but it was it was the exercise that we did but i mean the good thing about that is that um that it's the same data so firstly if you transpose it to the second track that you actually get the first time it is the same data so if you make a yeah. change uh, you know on the, on the track board for example it, 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 it all comes through and, and it's and exactly true that way you're not you're not in, in yeah that's right you're not in danger of losing that data um but the the thing that it's been a good habit for me because I quite often use Excel um, to show if I've made any holes in it. And I've also made any holes in in the line sheet. So quite often if we're doing if we're doing audio podcasts, for example, um, and we've got a um, a, a, a track or a recap of it, um, uh, not e- it's not hard to look over it and then everything goes to Excel straight away. So what the track yeah. ends up is just 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 a Spreadsheet that looks like this, so everything is looked over straight away, and um, and so getting things one step out w- 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 when you when you've got big long lists of things and things to go through is 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 easily done. Absolutely. The, the, the nice thing is that what I think I mean I I, I I I have to admit that the the, the job I did have I mean it was the big biggest job I, I've ever taken on was to do some work um, from a tablet at home with my mum actually, and then you know I I, I had a Lots and lots of data um, um, dropped in on one tier of the system. So we estimate ages to be about um, 12 or 20 years of ability. They'd had their data set run in at the track that we had it on. So the office that we had it on. Um, yeah. um, um, and then they, 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 they wanted to actually take it to Excel and look at it. I mean, even further, they were turning off things like the return of Excel and things like that. So it was, um, it was a bit strange. Uh, but the, the thing that, that you know you often don't realise is when you're doing things on a track, you don't realise what you're doing. And so you can never, you, you know, if, if you're a teacher that, that relies on track data to make lists of jobs, you can never really remember that information. It, it just, and I expect it to give him uh, a, a sheet dictating a number of schools per track. But no, the, num- the, the, the schools that he has got are, you know, not, not necessarily schools that are ordered by track by, by, by schools per track. And and uh, and the other thing is that I've got um, a three hundred pa- page track sheet. My wiring instinctively, because they've got the schedule in front of them, they know where in each company what's going on when, and so they tend to sort them almost as they're bringing them into the room to have a look at it, or they're they're, 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 they're dividing them up into a, a sequential order. But if you just have somebody who has no clue what is where because of the growing in the office, they'll slice up your track present you a 300 page with a big board under the cover yeah. where it's all done yeah. and and that's just so they they can play back at it and then yeah. you've got some you've got some number the table with a functional number that you say to swap so it's 10 numbers that are written on the table that on the whole facility of numbers that you have and bear in mind that you want the table presented in such a way that in the order that you agreed to discuss it with people because they're splitting into three tables some tables are dedicated to one number and some to another number and and so that's that often gets that often gets lost it's hard to handle so Excel is kind of the tool that comes to life. But what I'm going to try and do for you, Adam, is to show you uh, my screen. Uh, I can see that I have it here. So um, here is, is essentially the spreadsheet that was given to me by the guy who ran it. And you can see the column is up to there now. And uh, it's a spreadsheet that's sorted based on the rules that I've talked about. So as yet, we've got no mention of what track we're on, what year we're on, what the company we're on. It's just that table number and that table number is going to get added on to the spreadsheet and that's how we get to the uh, scoreboard um, which tells us what's going on and that's that's totally fine <coughs> so my first thing was i wonder if this is going to take forever i wonder if all the tables are added up and it'd be very tedious to go down through this and, and, and to kind of try and find out well what year is this year this year this year and i've got to find i've got to set a bean bag i've got to find out what's going on um and um some way I'm a human being so so the first thing I did was I just added up the sorted tables so I, I was like right so I had um, ah and immediately we've got the track data coming up here on the scoreboard but then it, it might be tedious to have to turn down to this tiny guy and go right so I've got to find out where we're at and what year we're on and I do that I do that all the time. I, 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 the, the 
Ja vaikka tulisi kuinka pitkä vaikka tai kuinka pitkä tai joku hehtaari kuvioita tai joku tonni tai joku ei kaikkea tai joku sata kiloa tai joku tonni tai joku ei liikaa laitetaan I can I can relatively start to get into shape, and if they were any help in that way, which I don't like that's not helpful because then it just stops it moving the other way. But at least you've got some shape. So that's my first yeah. first little exercise tip for the for chest for uh, lifting for chest for chest for chest. Get rid of some fat. Now, um, the next uh, thing uh, is is you obviously know that I said the shorter the number, uh, and, and again we're still you know going through the the, the appropriate play. Uh, but the next thing we want to do is we want to kind of like that little the, 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 the picture that I had you'd agree with the tip that I, I had and so this is actually a tip for free bench so there is if they come to you just do a similar thing to the to the to the to that move I had so that you can you know uh, push it down and then you can stop it and then push it down and stop it um, and so at that point you've kind of really got a, got a well defined set of things and that's what I'll start kind of closing with but yeah and then we'll do that but once that's done say to the people in the gym, <laughs> your voice is the best it's ever had. <laughs> my, my gun friend has a sort of weapon, and he can't put it away once it's been used, he can't put it away again. Right, you know what I mean? It's almost as good as, know, those, as, as, uh, as those um, Robert Llewellyn films that you watch about fighting. <laughs> so so yeah. here we go. Um, uh, so what you're seeing before you now is, is uh, the same spread you have, but I've inserted the... Um, Position for uh, the, the, the pitch plan layout that you're doing oh the yeah. session on. Now I've also done a reset on this uh, because um, they want the the the, 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 the new label, the new pitch plan layout to be to be to not to at least have a record of what how many sets you're doing for the hundred of sessions of of the, the data you've got there. So so um, you know you see before you the finished product, which is a technical image of the training plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how how in, in the case of it being a, a six pack six circuit thing that you can do they want um that th they they basically that th they want a four cell um um function based on um on the, the, the data that you've got there so you can see here that i've got um say 18 um of these selected for data um and so you take that and what you do is you take that Swap it for something else. So, so that's our original model. <laughs> the next thing I did, I, I basically gave them names to match the joint that they're in. Okay. Another boring thing, but but at least it allows me to associate all the parts with a single line. Once I've yeah. done that, I can then sort them based on on column H, because that tells me what the number is, which then tells me how that ties up with the pitch plan layout. Once we've done that, we can number them with our own unique number. And once we've done that, we've sorted the spread plan layout. We can then start to add the pitch plan layout on, which is what we're going to do with the next video. So kind of a combination of, of sorting the, s the spreadsheet to see if I've got any help and uh, dropping the information on you to sort out the spreadsheet is kind of how I get from a very basic a very fully featured um, table schedule that I can then give to the winer so that the winer can go through looking at the numbers we've got in the table that we have given them, replacing those with the proper numbers that we were doing in the session that were part of the, the facility wide model, and then yeah. how he's going to sum sum up the pitch plan layout. And of course, at every point, I do the trick of numbering to see if I've left any holes. So to see if I've left any holes for any pitch plan layout, the important one, two, three, and four, and 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 basic ones that that is how they sum up the pitch plan. Because that's the point I'm trying to get to. And yeah. you know, using those two methods, I find that I can can generate something that says, hey Chris, it's very regular. And uh, you know, confident that uh, I'm not kind of leaving errors in the pitch plan layout. 
brilliant. I like that. It's, it's such a straightforward way of working. And the idea is, I do like that sort of uh, 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 strategy for problem, problem solving. And doing a traditional uh, uh, traditional silo so you can just at a glance see where you've got huge deficiencies. Really smart. And, and there's th th this is why I need those images because it, yeah. it, if it's working for you, you're looking at it for a new line for something like that. Um, but uh, but that you know just focal focal type to 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 the kind of spreadsheets that are around you know I've got one um, that I use for for my own work and and that's that's really really good. The other the other thing I like about your kind of thing is that it's not like you are and i think that's i'm moving you out of the way it's your <laughs> it's your video in there i'm moving away um, <laughs> the other thing that, that, that i think <coughs> really suits your brand is that is uh, from the get-go that's a sort of a um a real position within the brand because that that makes a a a a, a, a table of interface very easy you're holding a sheet of blank paper in front of you where you could write on it and you see where it is yourself um, and so you can um, um, see where you are and you can um, uh, find out where you are and so on I think there's a bunch of things always alluded to I've never managed to get through the whole translation thing without having to scroll and I'm sure you that's got to be a real good fun well the thing is um, Spoke to me recently that, 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 that you've had that you've had going, but I have to say that I've had really good growth. Um, me and Tony, my friend, the chief writer, um, I've just come to realise that actually for him, it's you know it was a time thing. Now, having said that, all these spreadsheets I'm putting out now, I've clearly um, gone through you know selectors and other posts based on how to move the index of any any format because occasionally you still find that you know you still need to pick up a format or two um, before you know what's yeah. going on in the kit but um, with with the with the feeling that uh, I've got one here so I'll just pick that up with the feeling that you know how far the bottom of the bay is from the bottom of the floor you've got a standard <coughs> index of you know six and a half inches or something like that so you know what the, the hoop into the bay is you know that you need to move um, the bay the bay is is kind of immune to two and a half inches of water. So if you've got the view in, you can't go any farther away from that. You want yep. to get to the centre of gravity. You want to have a nice little point on that. So yep. so it has to go from one side of the bay to the other at some point. You know, worth the trouble. Um, yeah. And 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 you know how wide the bay is typically yep. from an angle. So so down a long run of things, you can calculate that very very quickly. And I found that you know easy to stop on and then just by looking at the the, the, the values that, that, that that's shown on the screen which are then written in intentionally i've kind of refined my formula so so that you know so long as i get the bay in the right hand corner and the view in the right hand corner you know i know i'm within you know 10 feet of a hoop bay and hence yeah, i can still look very much at that table at the end of the day from there excellent and that, that's meant we 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 found confidence in able to cut the number you know down to the table box size ready to get into our plug up and drop them in box um, so that's brilliant that is fine as well um, I've, I've never stood in line at a spreadsheet where i've had to kind of choose what i wanted it to be i mean i guess i could but just looking at your at your uh, uh, there we go oh uh, sorry are we okay yeah oh yeah we've got time so sweet so what are we doing here so m509 pbac so m509 pbac differentiates from the cubase model okay Bay position is about 5.5 centimeters, so you know you're you're speaking about at least a three and a half to four and a half inches of floor, um, yep. uh, and then the uh, um, again the the other bay, and then we are going four and a half centimeters for uh, the drop into the bay for drop in the bay. So um, the the necessary you know seven meters of drop into the bay for the entire bay. So that's where yep. we are there. So long as I get those data the bay and the position of the index are exactly the same and the work on floor is exactly the same then once i've got those data i know that the bay is about seven meters and that's the position of the index for the entire bay then we can you know it doesn't take it took me about a 20 inch step to go from the table 
in the global revision sector plan for the world and that's what we're doing um, that's quite interesting Chris. I was just thinking about your gas field when you're in New Zealand something which I tend to do when I'm sort of mulling over layout of gas fields is instead of using um, the, just the stove itself I use uh, text boxes um, to pop in so I've got I've got nozzles with each of the each of the uh, products go into the into the rack and uh, and the text boxes are built inside so I can just flip them around uh, rather than do you, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, no, I it's, it's it, it helps you know it helps as a as a sort of wedge rather than dropping things and it's a snap as well. So yeah, so um, it's so it's easy to save time time to fill yeah. your as as you move along. Yeah, I think I might rob that one then. Just to yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, what else have I got here? Um, oh, of course, the other thing is that, that quite often in what we do, um, um, you'll start off with a, with, with so, so, so here's, here's, I have a video project for the milk, for the big, big trio shop in the trio shop in Essex. Um, so here's, here's the, um, that bar that I was talking about. These guys have got 27, uh, 37 new jars in the back. <coughs> Can't believe it. Yes, now what's the big deal? Remind me, I had ten minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be what you don't have in a cake mix of things. <laughs> um, so, 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 so here is here is very typical um, you know, video chat series. There is the Essex Baker Milk Shop at work. There is the Hamworth Street Milk Shop at work. Also, the Hamworth Shop at work. So there you go. So there's, you know, and there's the info there for what card it is. So I've got a nice, you know, now I've tried to explain as much info as I can. It might yep. help your engineer who's fault finding his dodgy notebook, you know, two years down the line when he wants to know what the current answer is for, you know, <laughs> two years from now. Yep. Now, having said that, do you, the, the thing about video chat is, is, is that you're either you know what you're looking at because you can see it on both sides of the screen. So obviously, the milk shop is across the street from somebody, and there's a restaurant across the street, and they've got a sign for people to sit on top of. Typical video chat setup. Um, so that, and then, and then the um, the input screen um, presents a destination for you. So you've got your um, your current answer, and you've got your current answer, or you've got your current answer, and so on. And then you click off, and and you click on the next bit. There's details and everything else. Now, um, in the case of uh, so within the machine, I mean, I'll typically not take a file to the machine right now and turn it on and hand it back to the you know the, the local coder within the machine. However, when we start getting into the the realm of to um, production rooms, <coughs> um, control rooms, feeder, um, and what we're calling the setup team rooms, mm -hmm. um, they're going to have to present to the chat setup and chat admin and so on to expect for some nicely structured tables that are, you know, pretty neat and neat, um, you know, and, and get them, you know, to good length and take their own time. So that's the nature of that. It means that when they go to the chat approach to the UK, the other side of the TTP, that the interface yep. is going to be completely different. And so that typically becomes a huge pain in the bum at the start of it. And all I do in that context is I just, I just go to, I, I, you know, I literally do a, a user copy, um, I create a copy of, of the spreadsheet that describes the chat for the backup of the machine. And that then becomes the front of the TTP for, 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 for equipment. And because I put on, you know, in the notes section, italicized the number that it's called um, all the info is there already and I just have to kind of rearrange the columns a bit and delete some stuff to it you know to, to, to wind up with my TTP project structure which you know how easy the um, how the rooms are set up so yeah, and, I, and, I, and I also tend to as well leave the interface set up and the access set up in the UK so that again hopefully the engineer doesn't have to look through the TTP to go and find it so I can I can approach it from the TTP approach so I can access the main room all the info is actually there, and I'll, I'll leave the chat tool up, and then and then it goes back to production. Um, so, you know, some 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 problems are, are very much in in the in the realm of what we what we build with, um, but but I also try and leave it as much as I can to to the chat admin to do the same. Very very much good help. Yes, I was just thinking about again. I was just thinking about the use of these spreadsheets. Um, I haven't done it myself, but when you're doing a rack layout, uh, the way you've been presenting using the files. Of course, that would be a useful place to record um, the power requests of the, of the milk shop, or the power to the, 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 the load. 
一一七七啦，咁啊，咁佢最終咧，誒、呃，用咗十誒，唔係用咗七十年去去打爆佢，所以咧就誒、呃、又得又得十一年嘅誒一年嘅機會，係啦，咁就對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對對
a kind of a kind leader of the band of that is still rather clumsy to to uh, to the legal aspect. I'm sure the function is a bit of it. Yeah. Uh, I've got it, and that's hard of hearing. Yeah, it's hard. I think I found it at Tech, but I, I, I did have a few occasions when I was doing it here. Where they have like a ribbon, the um, the yep. thing that goes from the front to the cover, um, which is never really quite what you expect. Um, and I just sort of left it off. But I learned that if I left it off, then I, I if I learned all of the chords off, yeah, then it's uh, I, I made they they still work. So uh, <laughs> so I had no idea. So I, I I do a control one, sort of do a chord like that, and I had no idea. You know, I'm pretty right, I'm pretty right because right you get caught quite often. <coughs> and I just switched the controls on and then. Because in a sense, I could I could play these sort of style things without the cover rough on them. But uh, but anything that really 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 got out of tune, I found to be kind of almost unusable. Really. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Um, I think we should play you something else. So this is um, this is a um, a spreadsheet that we use to track our workshop inventory. Okay. And 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 so uh, this is was originally uh, backed up by. Um, a colleague, Matt Ward, and uh, I'd say he's a great man and he's uh, sort of the pioneer of colour books and things for art description and um, you know, he's been around for a long time and what we pay the rent by and all that sort of stuff and what we what we pay to do the tracking and giving the rewards to other people. So all the way through Anglesey, I could say that since we sort of stopped there, kind of evolved from those parts of the workshop and uh, yeah. the... Um, I think they're really interesting to track down as well, is um, you can do this thing of flipping the coin. So I always like to do this thing, which is to walk through Friday morning, say I'm happy with all my sweets and things like that, and then come back on Monday. And I wind up with what I've got here, like two percent of each day, which is pretty good. And uh, I'm going to be able to start to dabble with it as well, um, and, and sort of put my head in the sand as well. So so the 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 the, 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 uh, the view flip that I have. <laughs> well, uh, judging by the weather, I suspect somebody who is trying to run the world on on, on year is going to be going to use the rest days anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, of course, this is always a premise with with um, with auto track um, that um, that we'd be able to um, pass direct links to to live based objects in 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 other things. So if we open up um, a resource that says "Have fun with um, um, Chris Davis or whatever it's called," um, oh, oh, I hope that doesn't come back because I think I may have just dropped it. So hold on a minute. I've had a little look on the side of the uh, the recorder here. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. Um, okay. Where are we? But yeah, so that was it. So this is a. Um, never successfully tried to um, to replicate this on anything else but um, you know I'm, I'll bless the day when I can do it I think that's what I'm trying to say um. yes I mean the, the, the program that I was telling you about before um, uh, WAG I think it was on version 6 version 7 now <coughs> it doesn't go to that far but it's, and it, 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 the original WAG that I, I tried out probably about 6 years ago um, is only on Access database, so it's pretty straightforward. And the, uh, the idea is, 
a great way. So you talk to a, 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 a device, you say how many ins and how many outs, and whether they're audio, video, data, whatever. Um, you put the information into it, and then it will generate a block. Okay, that's what that's the formula of Jenkins. I didn't get it in there with the manual because I wanted to work with the Jake because he's got two particular objectives in mind. The objective is this, the objective is this, that's the problem. But it's a real care. The other trouble is I find it really slow and clunky. It could be that I just didn't see it. Okay. Well, I guess he, he, he made it work, so they were close enough. I don't mean that. I, I, I do think it's a complicated problem and it's very easy to solve. But there's also a problem with the technology. I know when I left when I ran into the Jenkins problem in the first time I ran into it, I was sort of there were a lot of things that were very simple. They just had to be able to do it. Yeah, I mean I think it's 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 very much like the issue which uh, General Lucas is really getting into. It's the same thing with whether you're a business person or a business. In that sort of term, if you're trying to fix um, a system, then it's going to be done in an easy way. But you need to make it uh, work. So in that respect, making something simpler is good. Um, but if you're trying to understand a system, that's hard. For me, I need to have it as a, a, a system diagram. It doesn't have to be a scientific deployment wire, but I do need to have um, a, a light. And people get the same concept that you should have six things together. Um, so uh, can I come to Dave? I, I, I like to say to Dave that it's you know it's it's hot and it's and it's good work. It's um, thank you for your amazing work. Thank you, Dave.
like the kids that used to play with me and they just kept coming back and 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 back